Hi everyone, welcome to the weekly angel reading. I'm sorry that the last one didn't seem to work and you couldn't hear me. If you can't hear me now, please type and let me know or let me know if, even if you can. And I just wanted to say a big thank you to everyone for your lovely comments over the past two weeks. I have had a holiday. Um, don't usually go away for as long as that, but it was well worthwhile and, and good for me to reset my energies. Really appreciate um, every single one of you that follows me and puts comments on my page and um, is, is so kind and gracious. I really appreciate you. So this is all great. Thanks, Em. I'm giving you a reading this week from um, the, my Ask Angel, Ask an Angel, Blue Angel cards. And I've also got the Rebecca Campbell ones here as well. But I wanted to talk to you a little bit about fear because fear is something that comes up for everyone. And thanks, Patricia. It's something that comes up for everybody. And, you know, it's not, you're not in the wrong if you have fear, whether that fear is you wake up, you get anxiety, or you get frustrated, or you get depressed, or you have negative thoughts. Those are all aspects of fear energy. And fear energy are part of being a human. But what's important to know is that it's not all of who you are. And so you have two energies that you can tune into at any one time. One is fear and one is love. And when you're in fear, when fear is with you, you tune into all of those negative thoughts, you know, the self-depreciating thoughts, maybe judgmental thoughts, maybe worries, maybe you're going over the past and some of the difficult things that have happened to you. And you can really feel taunted and held back. Hi, Anita. Hi, Joy. Um, you can really feel held back by those fear-based negative thoughts. And then on the other hand, when you can clear that energy and you tune into the other form of energy, which is love, unconditional divine love, it's the energy of happiness, inner peace, wisdom, clarity, good decision-making, then you feel good about yourself and the world and everything that's in it and you, everything starts to flow. And so what people don't realize is that every negative thought that you have isn't necessarily rooted from your own mindset. It's not necessarily coming from you. It can be something that you've just picked up on. Maybe you've picked it up from mass consciousness. Maybe you've been watching too many movies with a fear theme or you've had some stuff happen where you've been connected with other people who live their life from that perspective, or you're just worn out and tired and exhausted. And so when fear comes in, it's important to not identify with it and to identify with the truth that you are a spiritual being in a physical body. You are made of light. You are a soul and that in your soul is pure, divine, unconditional, and eternal love. And when you remember that, then you don't identify with whatever's happening outside of you, or what's happening in your mind. And it's much easier for you to clear, to clear that fear energy, to figure it out, to work out what is it I'm really anxious about, or what's really making me angry here. Is it real? Is it something that I've got to pay attention to? Or is it something that my negative self, my ego, fear mind has tuned into and is sabotaging me and I don't need to pay attention to it. And if I pay attention to it, it's actually going to drag me down. And when you remember that, any, that fear is a part of living on planet Earth and it's an energy and it's not who you are, it is a part of what you tune into, then that helps you to kind of loosen its grip and to step back from it and to get a clear ahead about what's going on. Hi Ida, hi Rhonda, thank you so much. It's so good to be back. So when, um, I'll give you an example about fear. When I was um, away, I, as you know, I ran the workshop Angels of Deliru and it's, it's an amazing program. I've taught it many times before. But I had more than usual anxiety for that particular, for the, for the program and I kept wondering why, do, why am I worrying so much about it when I could get myself away from that feeling of anxiety and I was like well maybe maybe it's just because it's been a year since I've taught it or maybe you know 
And then I realised, actually, no. There's some things that need sorting out that I haven't sorted out yet. Some things that were um, other parties had to do for me that they hadn't confirmed. And when I actually stepped away from the fear, instead of beating myself up about it, instead of going into the anxiety and letting it overwhelming, overwhelm me, I cleared it through meditation and then went, okay, is this real or is it valid? And it had a valid message for me. And it was like, you haven't yet had confirmation from this person to let you know that this thing is sorted for you. And that helped the fear go away. So what I'm trying to say to you there is sometimes our fears are just anxieties. They're just, they're based in nothing. They're based in negative thoughts, lack of confidence, um, other people's projections, you know, nightmarish scenarios that, that we can do, right? We're all good at those. And those are the fears that when you meditate and you call in your angels and you connect with the divine will dissolve and you'll be able to get on with whatever it is that you need to do. But when you go into fear and there is maybe a little bit of validity to it, there's something that you maybe have forgotten to do or you um, need to know about or maybe there's something niggling at you that you keep trying to put off, then when you clear the fear away by connecting with your angels, which are pure divine love, by the way, like they are spiritual beings in spiritual bodies. They don't have all of this physical stuff to deal with. They bring the energy of divine love, which acts like sunshine on fog. You know, when you get the sunshine through the fog and it starts to dissolve all of that um, heaviness, that's how the angelic divine love works for us. And so when you meditate and intentionally connect with your angels, you can clear away that fear or the anger or the frustration or the self-doubt or the lack of confidence, however fear is, is influencing you at this moment. And you come back to, I am a spiritual being in a physical body. I am soul. I am light. I am a divine spark. And whatever is bothering me, if I surrender it and give it to my angels and I ask for guidance, that message will come through to me and the divine assistance will come through because you're never ever alone. And fear basically is rooted in the belief that you are alone and that's an ego belief that you have to do everything on your own. Now, okay, you might be like not married or you might be um, traveling alone or, or solo, but that doesn't mean that you are entirely spiritually alone. When you consciously connect to your angels and with the divine source, the universe, God, whatever your name for that creative source of all that is, whatever your name for it is, that then reminds you that you are not on this planet living your life, doing the tasks ahead of you by yourself. And anytime you try to do things by yourself or you forget that truth, that's when the fear really comes in and can swamp you and take over. So you might say that fear is a signal that you're trying to do things by yourself. And there's um, actually a lot in A Course in Miracles, in the book A Course in Miracles, about that. That whenever you're trying to do something by yourself and you're forgetting God and the angels are on your side, that's when we get ourselves in the most trouble. And isn't that the truth? Um, Ida says, getting a little disturbance on my left, right? Keeps trying to focus. Okay. So do you think that's something wrong with my camera or do you think that's just something that you're seeing a spiritual being, Ida? So I'm going to pull you a card now from my new deck, which is Ask an Angel. Um, I love having new angel cards and these ones are particularly beautiful and I'm moving away from the energy of fear, right? So sometimes a new deck is good. Okay, so we're asking the angels, what is the message that they have for you this week other than to remember to call on them. Now I have to tell you, while we were at Uluru, we had so many big incidents. We had a rainbow. One of our um, our participants saw a rainbow over Uluru, and we saw the full moon ri rising over Uluru. We also saw a storm with lightning and rain, and over Uluru, and we saw a massive amount of fog sitting over Uluru. We couldn't actually see it for a while, and when we got closer, it looked like Uluru had a hat on. And those are all very um, important and um, amazing events that were happening while we were there. Um, 
so it's been a quite an intense period for the planet and for all of us recently and I can feel it starting to lighten now so I'm pulling you three cards today okay so the first card I don't know if you can see this is and I can't see much because I've got your comments in front of me so the message is home and look at these beautiful angel wings around a tree now I like to read um, as some of the people learnt on the Uluru workshop is I often read the cards from the picture just as much as I do from the words if not more so the first message I get for this is get grounded get grounded and I'm not feeling just about energy grounding which is really super important you know so many people think that it's important to open the third eye and the crown chakra to get their spiritual messages but if you're not grounded your spiritual messages are going to be confused um, almost like interference when you're on television right when you watch the television and you get those crackles and um, or even on the phone line when you get much clearer spiritual messages when you are grounded you also get much better if you're sensitive you tend to pick up on other people's energy you will find that grounding especially through the earth star chakra is a wonderful way of protecting your energy and making sure that you're not picking up on so much excess energy psychic debris psychic um anti what do they call them <laughs> i've forgotten that toxins so this is the angel muriel so this isn't just about energy Protect, uh, protection and grounding really super important yes but this is asking you to get really snuggled and comfortable and feel at home so even if you're away from home at the moment do something to make yourself feel more at home now remember your true home is in the light with the angels that's your spiritual home so see how the tree has got the roots in the earth but is also reaching up to the to the heavens so this is also about making conscious contact with your spiritual home calling in your angels opening your chakras including your crown chakra and calling in a beam of pure white light from the divine source to remind you that you are not alone i've got goosebumps the next card for you <laughs> is even better and it's affirming what we've already just heard so this is the guidance and this is heaven and earth Remember how I started this session today, reminding you that you are a spiritual being having a physical experience, you're in a physical body. You are heaven and earth combined. Now your angels are a bridge between heaven and earth. So they are, you know, some religious people believe that talking to angels is bad. Um, and that's fear, right? That's coming from fear, believing that. Because it isn't bad. Your angels are God's messengers. That's what the word angel means. Messenger from the divine. They are sent to you as personal guardians. And also as your kind of personalized bridge between heaven and earth. Because angels are like your mini versions of God. That bring down divine messages to you. And the healing and the energy that you need. The guidance that you need. They open up doors for you. But they also... They translate the high intense, you know, the very high frequency messages that come from divine source to directly to you. So they're like translators. They're bridges of energy. So they know what it's like to be us. They know at what, we, what we are physically challenged with. They've been with you since before you were born and will be with you way beyond the point when you cross over into, your, um, into heaven when your life, physical life is over many years from now. So they know the physical side but, and they know the spiritual side, so they bring that together for you. So this is Archangel Metatron, who is one of the most, um, the, one of the angels that's working with the planet at the moment, really helping us to get a more of a spiritual connection, really helping us to wake up to our spiritual selves. And to remember that it's not just all about the material, but the material is important as well. Now one of the material things that's really coming on at the moment Another one of our homes, right? We've got our physical house, our home. We've got our body that is our home. We've got heaven, which is our true home. But we've also got the planet, which needs looking after. So one of the things that Metatron is waking us up to at the moment is, is planet Earth and making sure that we're honoring planet Earth because we are all one with each other. So I talked a lot in the last couple of weeks about people climbing Uluru and how that's really affecting on a physical, emotional, psychic and spiritual level, the Ananu, the Aboriginal people that call Uluru home, it is their home. 
and because and then a, a greater extension it's like a um, magnified version or a, a good focused version of how we treat the planet like oh, it doesn't matter who cares you know in the extreme of the negative so we have to start honoring and remembering that we are all one with each other we are all part with, of each other how I treat you is how I treat myself everything I send out comes back to me everything you send out comes back to you and everything we do to another we end up doing to ourselves so the same goes for our planet so the this is coming back as above so below is what's coming for you this week so heaven on earth how can you create heaven on earth for yourself this is a good prayer to say in the mornings to the angels and this is your final card Ooh. okay it's all coming together for you it's all coming together for you this is called the great gathering and I'll put these up on Instagram and Facebook a little bit later tonight and on my newsletter if you haven't signed up for my newsletter just go to rachelskoltok.com and a little box will pop up and you'll get two free meditations when you fill in that box but you'll also get my weekly newsletter and I will include this card on that it says it's all coming together you're starting to get intuitive hits and connecting with your soul tribe now the only way you can connect with your soul tribe is to get grounded Get connected in with your spiritual self and your true self. Start radiating that authentic energy. And that's going to call in people that will match you on a soul level. People that won't abuse you or use you or people who get you. You know, it's not, it's, this is about calling in the right people that are on your vibration. And when you get together with those people, you can do great things. So when you recognize that you're not alone spiritually, you will also start to manifest in the physical world that you're not alone physically too. So what I'm hearing for this one is soulmates coming into alignment with you, relationships healing. I'm also seeing you calling in more friends. And if you're starting a business or you've got a business, this is calling in more matching energies to you. Hi, Melanie. Um, for you, for your um, business so this is about you really connecting, opening up your heart chakra and really connecting in with people who match you energetically and who honor you and you will honor them too. So this is a, a beautiful message for you this week. As I said, so we got home, heaven and earth and soul gathering, the great gathering, calling in soulmates and your soul tribe. I've got such a connection with these cards. I love communicating with angels. And cards are a great way to communicate with your angels and to get your messages. It's a great way to have a daily practice. So before I finish up, I just wanted to say thanks to everybody. Thank you so much for being here. Also, um, thanks to everyone that came to Angels at Uluru. I haven't seen or spoken to anybody since I, um, I left there and I have had my holiday, so I just got back. And there will be a 2020 Angels at Uluru. It will be slightly later in the year next year. We're looking at July, August. Um, just because I'm going to be in England in May um, doing another spiritual um, journey. Um, I've also got coming up Angels by the Sea. So I'm going to be doing a lovely two-day retreat by the ocean on the coast, which is um, a lovely angel retreat. It's going to really help you tune in to your spiritual self. And of course, my Angel Mastery online course is coming soon too. So there's a lot going on at the moment for me. Sending you lots of angel mess angel love. <laughs> Sorry, I read your message there. I had messages and said it. Lots of angel blessings and angel love. Have a great week ahead. And thank you so much for being a part of this. Mwah.